liquefaction of gases. Pressure volume temperature relations of a substance in both gaseous and liquid state was first studied by Thomas Andrews on carbon dioxide. Pressure volume temperature relations of a substance in both gaseous and liquid state was first studied by Thomas Andrews on carbon dioxide. Okay, so all real gases behave in same manner as this carbon dioxide. Isotherms of carbon dioxide at various temperatures are shown here. Okay, so at high temperature that is at about 50 degree celsius this is a 50 degree celsius plot so at 50 degree celsius the isotherm we have same as ideal gas okay that means it cannot be liquefied at high pressure next at low temperature the shape of the curve changes and shows deviation from ideal behavior Okay, so at a temperature of 30.98 degrees Celsius, see this, this plot, 30.98 degrees Celsius, what happens? Carbon dioxide get liquefied at a pressure of 73 atmosphere. This is the point at which the carbon dioxide gas liquefied and it gets converted into liquid. Okay, so the, the pressure at this temperature is 73. At 73 pressure, 73 atmospheric pressure, what happens? And 30.98 degrees Celsius, at this point, this gas gets liquefied. Okay, and this uh, here in this plot, this point is E. Okay, and this temperature is called as critical temperature. And the pressure at this temperature is called as critical pressure. Okay. And the volume of one mole of a gas is called critical volume. Okay. At this temperature and pressure, one mole of a gas, the volume is called as critical volume. Okay, so these are called as critical constant. Okay, critical constant and for carbon dioxide, critical pressure is 73 and critical temperature is 30.98 degrees Celsius. Okay, so from point E what happens? A small compression or a small decrease in the volume, we can see the pressure rises rapidly. Okay. So, from e, even a small compression rises the pressure rapidly. This, uh, this shows that less compressibility of liquid. Okay. Less compressibility of liquid. Okay. So, from point E, we can see that a small compression uh, increases the pressure rapidly. Okay. Next. When we decrease the temperature from 30.98 degrees Celsius to 21.5 degrees Celsius, what happens? The curve A, B, C, D is the curve and we can see that at point A, this carbon dioxide is a gas. Okay, And at point B, what happens? It starts liquefying. Okay, so from uh, B, C, B, C liquid and gaseous state coexist okay liquid state and gaseous state coexist from b to c okay so then after c at c what happens it gets liquefied completely so we can see that at point a Carbon dioxide is a gas and at point D, carbon dioxide is a liquid. So, gas gets completely liquefied at the point C.
at C we can see all gases gets liquefied and further a small compression increases the pressure rapidly so CD we can see that there is a uh, decrease in small volume from V2 to V3 there is a small decrease in volume but the pressure increases rapidly and reaches at a point D okay so below TC that is below critical temperature what happens all the gases shows the same trend as like this okay so this is another plot at 13.1 degrees celsius the trend is same but the horizontal portion increases as the temperature decreases okay so this is the plot now at lower temperature at about 13.1 degrees celsius this is the horizontal line okay as the temperature increases to 21.5 degrees celsius the length of the horizontal line decreases okay and as the temperature reaches at 30.98 degrees celsius what happens this horizontal line merges to a single point this is e so in the case of 30.98 degrees celsius there is only a single point at which the gas gets converted into liquid okay now next for liquefaction of gases so all other gases shows the same behavior as that of the carbon dioxide so for liquefaction of gases there requires cooling as well as compression okay cooling and compression is needed for the liquefaction of gases okay so on compression what happens the molecules come closer cooling slows down okay and the movement of molecules uh, decreases and the molecules hold together and gas gets liquefied so for liquefaction of gases both compression and cooling is required that is uh, we have to uh, increase the pressure and decrease the temperature a gas below critical temperature can be liquefied by applying pressure okay gas below critical temperature what happens we can liquefy the gas by compression okay on compression we can liquefy the gas this is called as the vapor of a substance vapor of a substance vapor of a substance okay now in the case of carbon dioxide gas the carbon dioxide below critical temperature is called as carbon dioxide vapor okay carbon dioxide vapor okay so carbon dioxide gas below this critical temperature is called as carbon dioxide vapor okay